I had a bread roll thrown at me at a charity event. I remember once in Edinburgh, a man just matter-of-factly saying to me, in 10 years, you'll be average. 14 years on, <laughs> the, the jury's out. <laughs> when did I discover I was funny? The 7th of April, 2004. <laughs> What's the funniest Johnson forced out of office. <laughs> You're still waiting for it. Oh, you, that's buddy? really funny. Come on. That's really that's nice. I wasn't funny at school. Were you funny at school? I, I, funny, irritating. It's a fine line. So that was the, yeah. Oh, I'll tell <laughs> you what. You, or? You're like this. Sometimes I say things and I can predict Josh's reaction. Yeah. Uh, I was very funny when I was a, a member of my school's debating team. What's my reaction going to be to that? that you oh, of debating? course you were in the debate. Yeah, of course you were. Yeah. What, what were you debating? Just lots Brexit. of different things. Ten years before Brexit, because you won't shut up about it. Um, I <laughs> was... Like, I ten years is a bit generous, Josh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's be honest. <laughs> um, when did I discover I was funny? Oh, my God, that's awful, because you have to, like... You have to admit that you th think... Wait, I suppose by being a comedian, you admit you were funny. Yeah, I'm, the cat's out of the bag on that one. Yeah. Josh. Yeah, you can only be so, try me so funny. Yeah, you can only be so humble. Uh, am, I, am I funny? I hadn't noticed. Like Andy McDowell in Four Weddings <laughs> and a Funeral. Um, so, uh, the 7th of April, 2004. <laughs> well, I... I think I can answer for this. <laughs> <laughs> I think the nation knows that one, Nish. I had a bread roll thrown at me at a charity event, and yeah. it was the subject of... Uh, I, I actually had someone count uh, it's over 20,000 words uh, across about 20 different publications written about it in 24 hours, so yeah. bad gig. I don't know if Joe.com covered it. I don't know if Joe.com covered it. But they should have if they didn't. No, well, uh, no, we don't want to encourage more coverage There's of a good story there if you want to cover it. <laughs> uh, worst gig I did. Oh, there's millions on the open mic circuit. There was the... I did a gig to two people. Which gig was that? Uh, oh, it's above the Black Heart in Camden, right? And they're on a they're on a date they're on a first date, <laughs> and they had to just sit there sharing a meal while fifteen rubbish comedians did five minutes at them. <laughs> Was anyone else on that bill that we would know? No, that's but amazing. The worst thing, How after, did you establish after the break? Only one of them came back. No, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> How did we establish it on a date? Because comedians talked to the audience members. There was only two options. <laughs> I wonder what happened to that couple. Oh, they're, they're, um, it was Harry and Meghan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, the worst job I've ever worked in. So my first job was, so I felt, I, I, for a period I sold fake Burberry scarves on a German Christmas market in what? Manchester. Yeah. You sold fake Burberry? Yeah, 100% acrylic. <laughs> oh, uh, the, the brand was Cash Mink. <laughs> Uh, 100% <laughs> acrylic cross between cashmere and mink. Are you a member of the Trotter family? So basically, for, for one winter I was, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I, I mean, I think the worst job I've ever had, I was a doorman. What? I was a doorman. One of my temp jobs was I was a doorman. What, like at a nightclub? No, it was at a movie conference. They didn't have a doorman that came with the building. So they hired me via a temp Amazing. agency to be a doorman for a single day. Isn't it a doorman? Well, I, I, you know I like superheroes, so in my oh, head right. I pretended you, I was a doorman. You were a doorman yeah. at a movie conference. Yeah. What was, you've been bitten by a radioactive door. <laughs> and my superpower was any time I could always tell when someone needs a door open for them. <laughs> yeah, they're bad jobs. Yeah. Well, you're a qualified journalist. Or so you told me word. until we started doing the show. Yeah, it was bad. And then it sort of became apparent that... It was that really difficult. It was really, yeah, really difficult. Yeah, it's really difficult. Being a journalist right now is very, very difficult. Which was awful news for us and the journalists, but excellent news for comedy entertainment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an ideal recipe for a sweet comedy entertainment show. Yeah. It's a not ideal recipe if you're trying to, you know, operate yeah. a local newspaper. We brought six newspapers to their knees, but in doing that, we created six hours of great entertainment. Yeah. So the real winners are the viewers. The real losers are the local citizens who didn't get their news that way. Abysmal. Yeah. Absolutely awful. The hardest aspect was everything, it turns out, has to be factually correct, which is a real effort. Yeah, that's a real strain. Who knew? Well, I, we should have gone and worked for the mail. We could have written any old nonsense. <laughs> you don't want them to add to that 20,000 words. <laughs> Come on now, learn your lesson. You've got enemies for a reason. <laughs>
It, the, uh, one of the hardest things is because of the squeeze in budgets across yeah. all forms of journalism, journalists are expected to do everything. Do everything now, you know, the, generating video content, do, doing their own photos in some cases. It's, uh, there's a lot of pressure placed on journalists. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're meant to not just be a writer, you're meant to be a photographer. Yeah. You're meant to be a live blogger, you're meant to be a yeah, live videoer. Right. Yeah, yeah. And we failed on all fronts. Oh yeah, we were terrible at everything. I remember once in Edinburgh, a man just, just matter-of-factly saying to me, in 10 years you'll be average. <laughs> Which was absolutely what was brutal. That? Um, I was comparing for a musical double act called Moonfish Rumba. <laughs> um, and you know what? 14 years on, <laughs> the, the jury's out. <laughs> um, that was a low moment. Well, the worst heckle I've ever seen anyone receive was when I was at university and my freshers' ball, Chesney Hawks played. Oh no. And at one point he said something about I'm the one and only and everybody cheered. And in my heart, I thought maybe university is not going to be for me. Uh, but um, he said, maybe I won't play it. And someone threw a ball at his head. <laughs> and that <laughs> remains the worst heckle I've ever seen in my life. And he's like, I'll play it, I'll play it. And 15 years later, that was a bread roll. Yeah, 15 <laughs> years later, it was a bread roll. And I was Chesney Hawks. <laughs> Well, he did a cover of Imagine at one point. He, he didn't he did do a cover of What a freshers' ball, he yeah. did a cover of Imagine. Yeah, oh, my was, word. The vibe was, he hadn't quite read the room. No. Um, I... Are you just desperately trying to think of one that isn't well, a profoundly lot of, offensive? A lot of them are profoundly offensive. I, I do find it, because Plymouth, Plymouth, obviously, you know, is just on the bottom of the country. Yeah. And so whoever we're playing, uh, we should chant, you dirty northern bastards. <laughs> So, <laughs> so if we play Exeter in our local derby and they, they foul us, we'll shout you dirty northern bastards. <laughs> I do. It always raises a chuckle with me. Nice geographical base. Geographical humour. You think the great thing about that is people aren't just laughing; they're learning. <laughs> um, Johnson forced out of office. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed so much, I thought I was going to shit my pants. That's, I don't know. I, I, don't, I, th I don't think you could ever enjoy the humour of a politician. No, and I think actually we should try where possible to discourage them from attempting to be funny. Because I think a lot of our problems have been caused by... But that Reese Mogg's funny, isn't he, Nish? He's a funny bloke, isn't he? I'm just doing it now because Nish is... <laughs> He's, he's absolutely bubbling away. <laughs> Nadine Doris is funny, isn't she? Funny if you don't live in the United Kingdom. If you don't <laughs> live in the United Kingdom and you see Jacob Rees-Mogg and Nadine Doris and you think these are two people who've been quite central to the governments of the last half decade, you think that's genuinely hilarious. It's so funny. How did they conquer any country? But if you don't live in the United Kingdom, you can't get Sky Max, so this video is of no use to you. Yeah. Scott watching it now. Oh my word, they're just not as funny as they claim children, that's the thing. Well, the funniest thing that's ever happened to me in relation to a child is when my cousins were children, they uh, compromised my Wikipedia page. Did they? Yeah, do you not know this? No. They changed it so it said I was best known as Madam Lily, which is a nickname that one of them invented for me when she was six <laughs> years old. How old were your cousins' children? No, they, uh, they're actually my cousins, they're my uncle's oh, right. kids. Oh, sorry. And they, they, uh, they, were, uh, they were like young teenagers, I think, at this point. This is the thing with the youngsters, isn't it? They yeah. They outsmart you. They did it they, whilst they were FaceTiming me. It was they, awful. They, they went, bring up your Wikipedia page, and I could see them cackling, and my Wikipedia page was just being defaced beyond all recognition. Oh, God. They've probably already commented on this video. No, they, they're... <laughs> in all seriousness, the IP address of their house is now locked out of Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my uncle's house is now unable to make edits on Wikipedia <laughs> because of the amount that their list, their, 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 that IP address is listed as a known vandal of Wikipedia. <laughs> it's probably something sexual. It's definitely something sexual. Yeah? In my case, yeah. It's definitely something oh, sexual. Oh, yeah, because I had a guy who was kept tweeting me to ask me to send a picture of my feet. <laughs> but I, I never got round to it. <laughs> but I hadn't realised... You hadn't... You, never, you were going to do it! But I thought it was a charity thing. Oh, 
but I just never got around to it. And then someone's like, that's not a charity that's thing. That's not a charity thing. <laughs> He's not auctioning off a photo of your feet. No. You'd never do feet pics for free, Josh. No. <laughs> What's the oh, weirdest thing you've seen? Thing. I mean, the weirdest things we've seen on stage would all be in the open mic circle. Yeah, before. there was like the Naked Poet, do you remember him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The early gigs of James Acaster. Some of the later gigs of James Acaster. Some of the later Acaster. gigs of James Acaster. That guy's weird. That guy, he is wacky. He's an absolute whack pot. Uh, I remember when, did you ever do Pear Shapes? Uh, it used to be run yeah. by uh, two acts called Brian, uh, Brian Damage and Crystal. Crystal, yeah. And it, it was, it would, Boast that it was London's worst comedy night. And once I saw Jimbo, who's a kind of legend of the open mic circuit, spend his entire 10 minute set stacking all of the empty chairs in the room, which was all of the <laughs> chairs in the room, <laughs> apart from four people. It was pretty, it was extraordinary. Yeah, it was brilliant. It was really, it was quietly inspiring. Um, Jacob rees -Mogg. No, I'm joking, because it, you, you, it's actually it's genuinely, genuinely annoying you. It's genuinely white you up. It's genuinely white you up. <laughs> I can't see the funny side of that. The funniest person ever to live. Um, like Richard Pryor, I'd say maybe Richard Pryor. Shakespeare. Oh God. I just, come on mate. <laughs> Trying to imagine you watching a Shakespeare comedy. All right, oh, Bradley God, Walsh, Bradley Walsh. I fight Bradley Walsh. Bradley Walsh. Bradley Walsh or Richard Pryor. Bradley Walsh or Shakespeare. 